Hello everyone, it's Flip Traction. Welcome back to another mask review. This is Jackhammer, released by Kenner in 1985. It's part of, of the first series of the mask line. This is obviously a Venom vehicle. This is my second mask vehicle that I have boxed. I also have a boxed Firefly, which I'll be reviewing next. But obviously the last box mask vehicle I reviewed was Raven. That was because up until just recently, literally just last week, I didn't have this. I didn't have any more box mask. Raven was the only one I had boxed, which I've got over here. It's the UK box. You can see there it is. As you can see there's a great big difference between the UK boxes and the US boxes. If I can just get that into frame, you can see the difference. For a start, well the later UK boxes don't have the fine rhino. And the artwork is different. There's also no bit on the side here with the figure. Instead, the figure is shown at the top there. There's also, if, if we look at the top, there's smaller pictures, less open space. I do like the UK boxes though because of the really fantastic artwork. But they don't have this on the back, unfortunately. Instead, it just has it in another language on the reverse side. And the Kenner logo is uh, smaller. And there isn't there isn't any side to the package to the package really that demonstrates all the features like there is in the US boxes. So anyway, that's the difference between the US and UK boxes. And that was the last one I had, and then I went to Galactic Attic when I was at Cardiff on the 9th of April to the 13th of April, and I managed to pick this up and Firefly for 110 pounds as a deal. Well, I made a deal with the guy there, with the, sh with the shop owner of Galactic Attic or the person at the counter, you know. And uh, he offered 110 for both, so I went with it. Anyway, so that's how I managed to get hold of it. But yeah, this is Mask Jackhammer. It is a fantastic box. And it was a steal for the price. Um, for 110 pounds for the two of them. Check this and Firefly. It was really nice condition as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got Jackhammer. The Venom Bronco Assault Vehicle of Action Figure. Comes with the Cliff Dagger Action Figure with Torch Mask. As you can see, this is the Series 1. Uh, it started out with short masks, but then they changed it because of warning of choking hazards and all that. And they put a hole in the mask. Mine is the second one, so it's not the short mask. Mine's the, the one with the hole and the extended parts. We've got Bronco, changes to Assault Vehicle on back. You've got the mask logo. Strangely enough, there is no Kenner on the front here, like there was on the UK box. The Kenner logo is on the front of the box. It is... Bit like the Powder Force 2, really, when it started out. The Kenner logo is only on the back and the sides. Okay, so we've got Jack Hammer, Venom Bronco Assault Vehicle Action Figure. This is very reminiscent of G1 Transform, of the Transformers. Uh, rugged Bronco quickly converts into an assault vehicle with a rota rotatable empty aircraft turret, armoured hood shield, and hidden reciprocating cannons. As you can see, we've got Kenner there. We've got more features on the side there. We've got this stupidly breakable gun with a stupidly thin peg mask uh, jackhammer venom assault vehicle uh, venom bronco slash assault vehicle uh, cliff dagger of venom it shows you all the features you've got kenner we've got a barcode which is very interesting and we've got a little blurb here join mask mobile armor strike command where ordinary vehicles and men become an awesome fighting team pardon me to battle to wage battle against venom the vicious evil network of mayhem mask where illusion is the ultimate weapon and it's got Goodyear as a trademark, Kenner Parker toys. And that is that. Fantastic artwork. Cliff Dagger is a very cool action figure. And Cat, oh, he's, he's a bit dumb in the cartoon, obviously. But. And as you can see, we've got Jack Hammer out. It is a fantastic vehicle. Absolutely incredible. But it is complete, except I would like to mention that it does say there should be a poster. Mine does not have the poster, but it does have the instructions. So I will go through those now. We've got, we really do care, seeing that these are the American instructions. Again, very different from the UK. We've got Kenner. We make each toy with 10, 11 care. You've got the really do care thing. Kenner Products Consumer Affairs Department at 1014 Vine Street. And they were there until 1992, and then they were bought out by Hasbro prior to that. So Jack Hammer, 4x4 Assault Vehicle with Cliff Dagger Action Figure, Mask. We've got the conventional mode and the action mode. 
which in the cartoon they called the action mode defense mode. Helmet is removable from action figure, of course, we've got the stickers. It's very interesting, I, I noticed that there wasn't actually a sticker for the license plate at the back. Uh, vehicle operation, let me see. And there it is. It's jackhammer. It does give you a tip on how to take out that stupidly thin gun as well. It tells you how to you know, do all the features. And I will go back to these instructions as we transform it. But it does say here that remove machine gun from machine gun mount. So if you don't want to break that really stupid machine gun with the thin peg, that's how you do that. It's not stupid, it's just for some reason, the, as I'll get to it, as I'll transform it, the, the fin, there's got a really thin peg and it's commonly broken. He did tell me that was, he, you know, he transformed it for me and showed me that it had the machine gun, which was really impressive. The chrome is really nice on the front. And, uh, yeah, he also told me Firefly wasn't complete, but I've since found the bomb inside, so even better. It is complete. It's just got a cracked mask, unfortunately. So I've got to be careful of that. And that isn't one thing to look out for on these toys. The masks do crack over time. They can get really brittle. They can harden up and then the two, you know, it just completely breaks. So be careful of that. Especially in the later series, between the split seconds. Uh, the series three, the racing series and the split second stuff really does suffer from that. Anyway, so this is Jackhammer. As you can see, we've got the rubber tires, really nice. It's got good gear on them as well. If we zoom in on that, there it is. It's got a good gear. It's a really cool assault as well. It's a really cool bong. You know, it's a really good cool vehicle, isn't it? It's really sleek. You've got this black, it's a really nice black colour scheme. With the nice silver grill, chrome grill even. These stickers are quite cool. In the driver's seat, we have Cliff Dagger with the torch mask. There he is. The strange thing about the torch mask is that it's got literally no colour to it, unlike the original version. As you can see, it's just hollow. And um, it's just one all one colour. It's all grey. It looks very cool, though. Quite accurate to the cartoon, sort of, except it was black then. There we go. Uh, there's Cliff Dagger. He's got the normal points of articulation for the mask figures. They have more articulation than Star Wars because they have a joint in the knee. The head turns, the arm goes up and down, and there are now two joints in the legs. So, there you go. That's the articulation for him. Looks quite good. It's got a good head sculpt. And that's that. His legs are a bit loose, though. But he's a good figure. I actually lost his mask in the bag when I got it. When I brought it back from Cardiff. Uh, the box is open, as you can see. There's no insert in the box. So, it's easy for that to fall out. So, be careful of that as well. Um... Yep, uh, that's it really for the assault vehicle for the vehicle mode. So we've got this section at the top here, which is like a spoiler that will come into play later. We've got this grey section around the back. I've got nice chrome on the rubber tyres. And I've got chromed wheels and I've got the rubber tyres there, which are really nice. It rolls really well. The doors open up as well. There's some detail on the inside there, and the steering wheel moves, which is really cool. Really nice detail Kenner put into this. And we've got some detail on the seats there. Fantastic stuff. Kenner really put a lot of effort into these vehicles. And it's just incredible. As you can see, we've got all this modded detail in there. It's just uh, amazing. Well, anyway, so to transform it, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top section here. In fact, no, what we're going to do first is we're going to pull this up. This... And you see, this is this serves as a lever, just, just sort of cleverly hidden in the car mode, I guess you could say. Some sort of engine, or I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be actually, but what it serves as is a lever, and what happens is you pull it up, and this front section falls down to reveal the Venom logo. Then what happens is you press the back of the spoiler. As you can see, that bit will. You can press that bit. Let's, let's do that again. And you can see the back of the spoiler will press down. Push down on that. Fold out the spoiler section. I mean, the, the bumper. The bumper presses down. This is the spoiler here. The spoiler. You can fold that out to reveal a cannon. That does move, which is very nice. And then, as the instructions said, you can come in here and pull out this gun. Which is very difficult to do. 
Well, it's not that difficult, so it's just very easy to break. Right, you can take that out like that. There you go. Like so. As you can see, that peg is very easily broken off. It's quite common for this to be broken, apparently. But I've never seen a jackhammer before until I managed to get hold of this one. And the interesting feature is, as you can see, as I am rolling it back, the guns go in and out, which is really cool. And now, obviously, what we'll do is we're going to take Cliff Dagger and put him in the driver's seat. Well, put him in the gunner chair up here, which is kind of strange. Now he can go from here to there. That's been a thing covered in many reviews of this guy. Uh, as for this fin gun, there is a port just there, and that is where it's going to clip in, hence why the peg is so small. And this just goes in there like so, and it's it goes in there quite well. And obviously now Cliff Dagger has a gun he can fire. As for these doors, the very interesting thing about the doors is if I bring the box back into view again, the doors are open in the attack mode, or the action mode, or the fence mode, whatever. But the strange thing is, I looked online and even in the cartoon, the doors are not open in the action mode or the fence mode. So it's very strange how the box art shows the doors open like this. But you never see that in the show. And most of the pictures online didn't show that either. So that's an interesting point of interest. Interesting side note. As you can see though, these cannons will... As, as we roll it along... The cans go in and out, which is really fantastic. Uh, this really nice chrome section there. We've got Venom logo. As this tie at the top here, it does rotate 100, 360 degrees. It can go all the way around, which is really impressive. And that is it. There is no bomb for this one or any you know missile feature or anything like that. But it is an incredible figure. Well, it is an incredible vehicle. That is, um, yeah, this is Jack Jackhammer, the Venom Bronco assault vehicle. goes all the way around which is really impressive so you've got lots of great features you've got a turret that rotates 360 degrees you've got these cannons that are a lot of fun they go in and out and um, you can even put some people in there if you really want to so yep that is the mask jackhammer thank you much for watching this has been retroaction it's a fantastic vehicle obviously points to watch out for is the gun that can it, very easily snap off the mask when it hardens and breaks or when you lose it like just what happened just now <laughs> and also something that something that is pointed out in the instructions which i want to go back to is that to ensure that the front machine guns retract fully when closing it up you know when, when you're taking it back to the conventional mode Roll the vehicle backwards slightly while pushing the hood or bonnet for us forward. So basically, what they mean is when you're trying, when you're closing it up, you want the cannons to be as far in as possible. Because what happens is when you close it, it does that. So you don't want the machine gun sticking out when you're closing it up. So if you roll it backwards, you have less chances of breaking them. As so for this section, when you fold it in. It's, on a, it's just on the mechanism, so it just goes in there like that. And then you can just close this thing back down. As for the gun, there's a bit just right in there. Can't really see it. Uh, you can't see it, but the gun has a section that it can fit in. Like there. There you go. So it goes in there like that. Just refer to instructions if you want no more. About how all that works. Instructions are quite helpful. Um, more helpful than today's instructions. And there's some really good diagrams on there. Really nice sound instructions, very cool. 1985 Kenner. CG, CGP Corp, is it? Part of General Mills, I have CPG Corporation. Consumer Products, something like that. I can't remember what it's called now. But anyway, so yeah, this has been the Mask Jack Gunner. This has been Retraction. A really fantastic vehicle from Series 1 of Mask. Great vehicle, definitely worth getting, if you can find it. This is the first one I've ever seen available. Well, I mean, I've never seen it at any toy fair or retro toy show or anything like that. This is the first time I came across it. 
then I bought it the right way. So anyway, it's been Retro Action. Thank you for watching. Definitely recommend getting hold of this one. Obviously, watch out for the chrome tyre. Make sure the rubber tyres aren't cracked. Make sure the mask is there, obviously. Make sure it's complete. Make sure the gun's not broken. And watch out when closing it up so you don't damage those guns, the cannons that rotate, that go in and out. So always roll it back when closing it up and you'll be good to go. Anyways, great action. Definitely recommend picking up this vehicle. And I'll see you next time. I'll be back with more mask reviews. Next one being the boxed Firefly. In there. That's got the instructions as well. Yeah, these American boxes are fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.